Welcome to the Windows Ike 2.0 demo. In this demo I will show you a few of the tools included in Windows Ike. But before diving into the tools, I would like to make a statement saying that you are not really supposed to use these tools as is. The deployment solutions that we use, like MDT 2010 Light Touch, the solution will use these tools so you don't really have to. So in the demo I will demonstrate how to create a WinP image how to use ImageX to mount this image for editing, how to uh, use the DISM, the offline servicing tool, to inject the driver into the image. I will show you the BCD boot command, I will show Windows System Image Manager, and how we can use that tool as a authoring utility for unattend XML files. And lastly, I will show you the uh, USM4 tools. Let's go ahead and go to our demo server, MDT01. I will start a deployment tools command prompt. The difference between this command prompt and the uh, normal command prompt is that the path is being set to some of the utilities included in Windows Ike. So for example I can use the copy PE command to create myself another boot image or a new boot image. I specify the architecture and I specify a folder where I want my image to be. Like this. Now if I do a listing, you can see I have a WIM file in this folder and I also have a folder called mount. So I can do a directory listing of mount and as you can see, it's empty. Now I can use imagex to mount this WIM file, mount read write, the WIM file, the index and the folder to mount to. Now if I do a listing of the mount folder, I can now see the content in it. If I wanted to create a tools folder and add some tools, I could do that. I could simply issue a command saying mount, uh, make a directory mount and, and tools. And now I will have a folder in it. But I can also use the dism tool to, for example, add a driver. So I can use dism, the, the image command, specifying what folder to do the changes to. It was the mount folder. I will type add driver and I will specify the driver path where I have a driver like this uh, storage controller for example and that driver is now being added into my boot images or boot image when I'm done with the changes I can use imagex slash unmount and slash commit to write the changes back into the file So this was using ImageX to mount an image and to use DISM to add a component to it. Another new utility in uh, Wyke version 2 is the BCD boot command. It's basically a command line that will help you create the necessary bootloader for uh, Windows to start from a drive. As you can see in the sample, I would simply type in this, for example, to uh, kick off and start Windows from the C colon Windows folder. I also have a utility called Image Manager to create my unattended XML files. So I will start Image Manager. I will select an image and I have my answer file in here. If I wanted to do a totally new answer file, I could do it directly in here and add all the settings I want to it. But in this case, I'm going to open a sample. And as you can see, I have a sample with different passes in it, different sections. So depending on where you are in the setup, different settings of this file will be read and used. So for example, in the Windows PE pass, there will be a step configuring the disks in my scenario. So I've added a few steps, actions that will actually create a partition for me and then later format that partition. So this is just a sample of how you can use Image Manager to change and edit uh, the unattended XML file. Another utility included in uh, Windows Ike is the use empty tools. So if I go to my program files folder where I have Ike, I actually have a use empty folder. One for each platform, like this. And in this folder I have the scan state command that will do the backup. And I have the load state command 
that will do a restore.